Yo, welcome back to the Voscoin channel. Today, uh, I found a unicorn, and it's one of two unicorns I've actually just picked up. So uh, today we're gonna be reviewing the ASIC Miner Co. 8 Nano, okay, the 40 terahash version. And on Monday, I'll be uploading the ASIC Miner almost 200,000 soul, that's 21080 Ti, Xeon Miner. Whether or not you like ASIC miners, I know you've been curious about these. Is this brand even real? You know, have you seen anyone normal that you can trust have these? Well, here I am. They sent me, they sent me a, the, their two latest miners and I did not by any means have the confidence to order them. And, and quite honestly, I just wanna put a disclaimer, just because they sent me these miners doesn't mean that if you go and order through them that you're not gonna get scammed. And it's not my fault, and quite honestly, I still wouldn't have the confidence to order through them, especially after I publish these reviews, and especially after I publish the Xeon review on Monday, because wait till you guys see what this thing's doing. It, you're gonna wanna watch it. Also, don't be too jealous. I don't actually get to keep these miners, and I actually had to become an affiliate with them in order to for them to send me these miners to review. So if you do go and check out their stuff, click the link. If you do wanna take the risk of ordering, click our link first. Uh, you know, that, that would help them send us the next model, <laughs> if you know, we can get over my review. But anyway, let's get to it. So first I wanna talk a little bit about the build quality. Um, it's a very big machine. Th these are, imagine if you put a couple miners in one big box, well that's basically what these feel like. They're very heavy, uh, they're hard to wield, and honestly, you wanna ask a buddy if you got the availability to help out, so you don't throw out your back or scratch some stuff up. The bottom is very sharp. I also had this on the floor in the dark. I walked into it and it put a big dent cut gash in my leg that's still not healed after a couple weeks. What's really interesting about this miner is the fact that it's water cooled. So I'm gonna go through the setup of this today and also the review. And above all, I want to touch on this guy. So the power cord for this machine is pretty weird. Most of you have never seen this kind of power cord, and you know, myself included, right? So it, it's one of these, it's like mill spec, it feels like. It, it, it goes in, it locks in. If you, you know what this is, can you find this? Do they have an adapter for this on Amazon? I don't think so. So the easiest thing to do to be able to hook this up to my uh, PDU was I got this adapter, again, off of Amazon. You guys know I love Amazon. And it's just like a NEMA 5 standard US power, like computer power cord plug, which is actually useful for all, for all kinds of stuff. And then it's just got a standard C14, I think, maybe C13, I'm kind of blanking, uh, that, it's gonna pl that plugs right into the PDU. So I can just plug it in. Ah, she's tight, man, first time. And then this goes right into the PDU. If you're wondering about the ethernet cable you can use, because you probably weren't, but now you are, you're gonna need to use theirs because it's pretty weird. And yeah, it's long, weird, and it works. So, hey, it's free, I guess, except it's obviously built into the price. This is a very efficient model, especially for Bitcoin mining. 40 terahash is what this pushes out. It's water cooled. So the first couple steps are pretty simple. You're gonna take out the power cord, you're gonna plug it in. You're gonna take out the ethernet cable, and uh, you guessed it, you're gonna plug it in. Then you're gonna open the side of it. So if you're looking at the back of the unit, and this is where the water cooling reservoir is, that's the back of the unit. Uh, on the right side, if you're looking at it from the back, is where you're gonna take the panel off. And then you're gonna cut a couple zip ties, and this will allow you to ha release this lever. And this is what's going to drain liquid out of the system. And you need to drain liquid initially to make sure you get all the air out of the system because naturally there's gonna be air in these lines. Uh, I will say that both of the units I had were like pretty wet when I received them, which is a little alarming, but they both, well, I haven't tested this one yet, but the other one works, sort of. Again, wait till the review on Monday. Come on, tune in, boss coin. But anyway, I um, already went ahead and uh, plugged it in everything, like I said, so I'm gonna start filling it up. I moved the cap um, from the top. You leave the cap off when it's in operation, they give you this little bottle, which makes it kind of handy. Make sure to use distilled water if you saw a gallon behind me. Don't use tap water because there's some impurities, chemical, chemicals, minerals, and so forth that are in there and will eventually clog up the machine. So you're gonna go ahead and fill this up. And this is just the reservoir. The rest of the lines are pretty much empty right now. So this is going to go down, which is really important that you watch this and keep refilling it. This is the longest piece of setup for this machine and that's why I'm going to go ahead and do it and then I'm going to show you how you log in and operate this machine with their centralized server 
stick with me. Once you get it filled up, you're gonna be ready to uh, do something really complex. You're gonna click the button. You can use some fancy uh, liquid you buy off Amazon, which is gonna do the same stuff, maybe have a cool color to it, or you can just use a $1 gallon of distilled water from any you know local grocery store, like I mine at Target. You'll notice it'll be loud initially, but then it's gonna quiet down. So you open that lever, allow the liquid to pass through the system, and then in the meantime, you can scan this QR code or just type in that URL, and it's also got a password under it, and that's how you're gonna log into the miner. Think of like Simple Miner, but it's made by the same people who make the rigs, and it's really pretty alarming. You gotta head over to their website, ASIC Miner Co. Use our link in the description. Log in, make an account. You already had to have that if you ordered with them anyway. So uh, just go ahead and log in as a precaution. Then you're gonna scan the QR code. It's easier to do on your phone or you can just type the short URL that it gives you on that label right there inside the water reservoir door. Um, you can just type that in and then you're going to click next. It's gonna show you a little pre-launch setup. Basically, it's gonna show you what, um, what we're doing here for you as well, but hopefully my video is a little more clear and leaves you with less questions. And of course, please ask away in the uh, comment section of the video. I read every comment that comes through. So, always appreciate when you guys take the time. Then you're gonna go ahead and add your email here. You're gonna add your account password and you're gonna put this code and click configure minor. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to the pool page. And uh, for this, I'm just gonna be using Slush Pool. I've always had good results with them. I like their dash or their dashboard. Um, with them, you're gonna have to make an account. You're going to have to also, once you make that account, you're going to need to create a worker. Otherwise, it's not gonna be able to connect. I'm just gonna call this one 8nano. So for this, my worker would be bosscoin8 nano. Then just to show you guys I'm not lying, I just went over to the Help Center Getting Started Bitcoin Mining page, and you're gonna grab this uh, URL, and I know I didn't get the S. And I'll have this stuff in the video description if you just wanna make your life easier, and copy and paste. Password, I'm just gonna use anything. Um, also, you're going to have to fill in all of these. You can't just do one or two. So just to make it simple and easy for you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same thing in every one. Because if you don't have them all filled in, it's gonna kick it back and say, sorry, you're gonna need some more pools, buddy. And you're gonna click done, and boom. And it's gonna say, first time at launch. So this is what's annoying about this miner, again, being water cooled and everything. So it's gonna basically cycle here for 15 minutes before you're gonna be able to click continue. It, during this whole process, make sure you're by it and you're watching to make sure that you are keeping an adequate uh, water level in the, in the reservoir. Because if you've never used a water cooled miner, they are a little bit different. So sp pay special attention so you don't fry your rig. So I'm in the panel and it's been about 20 minutes since I restarted the second time. If we come over here to the pool, I'm in the slush pool dashboard. You can see I fired it up and it was like, uh, not this time. So I went down there, turned it off, turned it back on. And this time, for whatever reason, it decided to properly uh, sync up and start working. Right now you can see our average is over 40 terahash a second and you always wanna see an average over with a number they claim. Otherwise, you're just gonna be irritated. This stuff's running uh, pretty hot. Pretty hot for running in an air-conditioned garage. Uh, it's still, you know, like 75 degrees in there uh, by now with the AC pumping. And uh, that's that's pretty hot temperature for running in that kind of environment. That's just a couple degrees away from the one that's running in my shed. So as you can see, it's already starting to register poolside almost, um, you know, scoring, uh, well not scoring hash rate, but just a registered, uh, reported hash rate, five minute average. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna be hitting that, submitting the proper amount of shares to get there. But the most alarming thing about this miner is here I am on their website in their dashboard. I mean, do you wanna look at the console in this miner? You can't. Do you wanna overclock it? Yeah, you wish, maybe. Uh, and this is it, you can change your pool, you can change your pool and that's it. You can, you know, just remotely restart it. And that's it. Uh, it's just, uh, you don't wanna see something centralized like this. It's just, they need to disconnect this. For example, the way amp miners function from Bitmain. That's, I mean, you know, when they take away amp lead, they're doing it right. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a couple hours and I'll be right back with you. It's been hashing away for over four hours now. 
in an air conditioned garage inside that garage it's about 75 or less degrees fahrenheit obviously you can see the operating temperature of this machine is 73 celsius and its average hash rate is under the advertised 40 terahash a second which is a little disappointing and when i say little i mean very disappointing i'm not i'm not really happy to see that and you want to confirm uh you want to see what we're doing poolside our scoring hash rate which is you know just going to be your effective averaged out hash rate is going to be 3855 which coincides almost exactly with what the miners reporting and this hash rate is based off the shares you're submitting so doesn't get any more accurate than you know what you register in poolside because that's what you're going to get paid for uh slush pool also found a block and it was a little bit less um you know it was still ramping up i guess you know to get that averaged out hash rate but uh, if you're wondering how much uh, 7,229 Satoshi's worth of Bitcoin is worth, we scored 47 cents, baby. So we're pretty much rich now. If you're wondering what the Bitcoin amount we're estimated to make, it is 0.0017 Bitcoin per day. But you still have to subtract your electricity costs from that, which cuts you down to a little under $6 per day earned. So you talk about the daily revenue forecast of $13 based off their site. It's rounded a little bit up from you know the current forecast of 1142, power consumption of 2100 watts, and uh, I tested it on the amp meter, and that's pretty much looking to be correct. I got 240 volt uh, just for reference. That's what this is running on, and the price at $4,500. So, I mean. Two years to make your money back. It's cool. It's cool. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So there you guys have it. That's how you set up and use any of the ASIC Miner Co. Miners released to date. They're all gonna function the same. This this setup guide is gonna apply to the Xeon as well as obviously the Nano. It's on hashing away right here in this 75 or so degree right now. Air conditioned garage, normally about 70 degrees or less. And uh, you can hear it's not loud. It's not loud at all. This is totally something you could have in your house if it makes sense. Uh, you know, fortunately, as we talked about, you know, with current prices, if everything were to stay the same, it would take you two years to make your money back with this machine. Two, two years. To make your money back with this machine. Oh, wow, mining is taking a hit. And, and granted, you know, that's with 11 cent electric rate. If you got dirt cheap electric, obviously you're gonna be having a better time. Or maybe you went big and you got a solar farm. I don't know. But what I do think is these machines are really cool. And I, and I hope that they decentralize the software some so that they don't have this centralized you know, control over it. And I mean, talk about the capability to launch a 51% attack. Let me tell you, man, whoo, they could do it on something on the Equihash. When they get enough of these guys out there, they just say, okay, time to do it. They suck up all the miners that they have connected and it's 51% attack time, baby. So there you have it. That's my review on it. I'm a little worried that it had that issue with the restart er er earlier, but we, again, we just reviewed, you know, how it's doing after several hours here and pretty much as good as it gets for a mining rig environment, you know, you know the equivalent of just being in an air conditioned house and uh, being, being a newer device and all. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. And uh, just in a couple of days, we're going to have the ASIC Miner Xeon review up. So I'll see you there. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. I'll be home.